Hi everyone, it's Olivia from Gully Bunches. Um, just a quick video this week, a vlog video this week because I haven't been feeling too great. I've got a stupid head cold, which means that my head is full of goo and I haven't really felt like making some videos. But I'm gonna try and um, film some tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me, um, we have um, a bank holiday in the UK, so I should be able to um, do some videos then. I, was, I practically didn't have a voice yesterday, so that would have been totally pointless making a video then. But um, yeah, I've got some things planned, so I'll just show you quickly. Um, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this. This is a bag that I've made, um, and I've all crochet and aligned it. So I'm going to show you basically how, um, well, the basics of making this pattern, this bag. So it's just the basics, really. So um, just, I mean, it's really simple. It's so simple to do. Um, it's two, made of one piece, it's just one long piece, so you, I've doubled this up, so this is this is like twice this length, so that's doubled and then it just comes all the way down and round and again this bit's doubled at this end, so it's just one long bit and you just make it as wide as you want the bag to be and it naturally grows wider because of the way I've done it, so I'll show you how to do that. These handles I got from eBay so um, a, a UK seller so when I do the video I shall put the link to these handles on eBay but um, I'm pretty sure that wherever you are you'll be able to get something similar but this pattern does work with the rigid handles that you might that I, you might, I think they might be called like knitting bags but um, yeah because I've, I've made something similar using the same principle but just using the fixed handles but yeah so that's that's one of the videos coming up um, I've been working on a um, fillet crochet pattern as you can probably see I don't know if you're able to see with that light that it's actually hearts on there and um, yeah so I've come up with this pattern and I'm going to show you how to not do this pattern because the, I'm just going to show you how to work fillet crochet because it's very simple it's just made of sort of blocks and open spaces and there's another part to it which is lassets and bars but the first video I will just cover how to do the basics and then I'll do another video on doing the little more intricate things but I do love in fillet crochet it's very pretty and I'm about to sneeze so I shall edit that out okay I'm back now <laughs> sorry about that I spared you the uh, gruesome details of that that sneeze but yeah that's that's something else I'm working on I haven't finished that one so I can't film that one yet but um also something else I'm gonna do I did make a sample to do a video last year in fact about this time last year but I, for some reason didn't get around to doing it anyway so um on Instagram the other week I put a message up saying anyone got any video ideas and then someone said what well, can you show us how to do this I'm about to show you and I was like oh I, I was going to do that last year and completely forgot about it so yeah basically um they are glass covers or jar covers this light's a bit bright I've got another one here it might be a bit better to show you okay so basically what I'm going to be showing you is how to work beads into your crochet work I don't know if you can see that where am I going there so beads into your crochet work and I want I for one think it's absolutely adorable I don't know I've got a candle here <laughs> that's not right it's not lit don't worry <laughs> um yeah, so you you get the idea that it sort of just hangs over. It's supposed to protect your jug or glass from getting flies in it. And there's all sorts of different ways of doing it. Because basically all it is is find a, a doily pattern that you like. And then you just incorporate beads into the, into the last round. And that makes it hang down nicely around your glass or whatever. So I'm not going to be showing you how to make this one. I'm just going to be showing you how to make this because it's a very simple pattern and um, more decorative than useful because of the gaps in it but essentially what the video will be about is how to put the beads on your work so very simple to do but really pretty as you as you can see and you know any doily pattern can work really well with that um, let me have a look in my diary to see what other things I will have planned. Uh, tension. 
not work tension I can't help you with that or <laughs> or home life I can't help you with that but maybe crochet can help you with that but um yeah someone did ask me about how to get an even tension so I will do like a little I'll do lots of little examples of uneven tension and even tension and things that can cause those things to happen so yeah I'll cover that and um Oh, crochet poncho someone's asked me about which is very simple to do and I will definitely be doing a video on that but I haven't made a sample for that and um, amigurumi so I hope I said that right crochet which is this sort of Japanese crochet where you do it in a continual circle round without any joins and you can make really cute little or anything really I mean you uh, dolls teddy bears rabbits fake food anything I mean it's really if you haven't seen it, I'll I'll just um I'll write the word down here if I'm going to be clever <laughs> yeah I will definitely do a video on that because knowing how to do just the basics and that will make it much easier for you to go and look at other patterns and things so yeah I mean that's just stuff that's coming up and um of course if you have any video suggestions I'm always welcome to have received them so just drop me a line in the comments box below and I'm sorry it wasn't a um, proper video this week but I just I can't do one every week <laughs> so I'm gonna try and film three or four tomorrow so you'll probably have to put up with my <laughs> my snotty voice for a few more videos to come and um, yeah I hope you're all well and um, thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed and you would like to I would love you to make me feel better <laughs> bribery blackmail bribery yes if you could give me a thumbs up and any um, and, and do go and have a look at my playlists if you haven't seen all of my videos yet or aware that I've done more videos um, go and have a look at my playlists I've done, I'm trying to get them tidy they're not as get <laughs> Once I've, um, yeah, so many things to do. With, yeah, you know what it's like. Yeah, so I'll, um, but do go and have a look. I've tried to put a, I've put a basic stitches. So if you're new to crochet, then pretty well much all your basic stitches will be in that one playlist. And then I've got a few tutorials and I'll try and cross link things. So like I've done a tea cozy video and in there um, I also reference my how to do a rose video and how to make a leaf video and stuff like that. So um, what I was going to say, oh, I'm working on my website because I've, I've got a website, girlybunches.com, but um, I think people are messaging me on it, but I'm just not getting those messages. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I, I can't even find out if, I'm, if I've had any messages. So I'm binning it and I'm rewriting one. As, and I've been doing that mostly today, actually. Sat on the sofa, tea tied a little bit of crochet and trying to rework a website and it's the wordpress one and oh, luckily my husband understands things like that so he's been helping me lots and making me tea so that's been very helpful and useful and kind of him so yes um i will be back next week with a proper video and i'm very sorry it wasn't a proper video this week but i hope you're all well take care and i'll see you very soon thanks for watching Bye bye